Okay, so at first I was going to open this week by apologizing for spending so much time on this segment talking about abortion, but then it occurred to me that I've done that several times before. So I considered opening up by apologizing for apologizing for talking about abortion too much, too much. But then I realized that I'm not sorry and it would all be disingenuous bullshit anyway, so I settled on this opening. And here's why I'm not sorry. According to a recent study from Media Matters for America, if you hear about abortion on network news, there's about a 94% chance you're hearing something that originated with Fox News. Not only does Fox spend more time talking about abortion than the other major networks combined, but it also defines what those other networks are covering. So either they're debunking those claims or, far too often, they're not debunking those claims, but trying to pretend like they're bipartisan enough to cover the abortion issues too which means that essentially Fox News is setting the agenda for CNN and MSNBC. And it's hard to combat this because there's really no other news on abortion. Like if CNN was making a concerted effort to cover more stories about, I don't know, wisdom teeth extraction, they'd probably have to stretch for stories. And abortion, from the non-hysterical point of view anyway, aren't much different. So if they ever come up, it's because somebody's making up some bullshit or they're trying to outlaw them. So there's no other side of the story to tell beyond, nah. -uh. Of course, we all know that Fox News viewers are basically a lost cause. But the really terrifying thing in the study was about how bad the other networks were too. Because Fox is kind of leading the parade, they often get called up repeating the same bullshit talking points that Fox is disseminating. For example, they found that when Fox News made a statement about abortion, there was an 85% chance it would be inaccurate. No real shocker there. But for CNN, that number was 67%. And even the left-leaning MSNBC only manages to not be wrong on the subject 40% of the time. They're just barely right more than often than they're wrong. And in case anybody from CNN or MSNBC is listening, I want to be super clear that we're not shooting for 50-50 here. That is not balance. The number of wrong statements you want is zero. Anyway, just in case you aren't pissed off and or depressed enough yet, I also wanted to share one more quick story with you. This is the story of Michelle Bolin, a woman who was fired from her position as an elementary school teacher from a Catholic school because she was pregnant and unmarried. And apparently the fact that their religion is based on that is no excuse. So she sues, but not for pregnancy discrimination. I mean, that is illegal for non-religious people, but Missouri state law specifically exempts employees of religious employers. So her lawyers did manage to scrounge up some other illegal aspects of what they did, but ultimately it wasn't enough to win her case. And this week she was officially told to go fuck herself. As long as her present employer is okay with her exhibiting that kind of bodily autonomy, of course. And with my fuck joke quota fulfilled for the week, I'm going to hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 